want to find the composite function values f of g of two and g of f of two, given f of x equals x squared plus five and g of x equals six x minus fifteen. So to find f of g of two, it's going to be easier if we apply the definition where f of g is equal to f of g of x seen here. So we can rewrite this as f of g of two and then from here, we can think of the order of operations where we start with the innermost parentheses. So in this case, our first step is going to be to determine the function value g of two. Let's go ahead and do that below. And since g of x is equal to six x minus fifteen, g of two is going to be equal to six times two minus fifteen. So g of two is going to be equal to, this would be twelve minus fifteen or negative three. And since g of two is equal to negative three, this composite function value is just equal to f of negative three. And now we'll substitute negative three into function f, where f is equal to x squared plus five. So we'd have negative three squared plus five. Well, negative three squared, be careful here, we're squaring negative three, which means negative three times negative three. So this is positive nine plus five, which is equal to fourteen. So our composite function, f of g of two, is equal to fourteen. So notice how it takes two substitutions in order to determine this composite function value. And now for the second example, notice how the only difference is the order of composition has changed. And since g of f is equal to g of f of x, we can rewrite this as g of f of two. Notice how when using this different notation, the order of g and f stay the same. And now starting with the innermost function value, we'll determine f of two first. And we'll go ahead and do this below. And since f of x is equal to x squared plus five, f of two, it's going to be equal to two squared plus five. Well, two squared is four plus five is equal to nine. So f of two is equal to nine. So now we can substitute nine for f of two. So our composite function value is going to be equal to g of nine. And now since g is equal to six x minus fifteen, g of nine will be equal to six times nine minus fifteen. So we have fifty-four minus fifteen, which is equal to thirty-nine. So g of f of two is equal to positive thirty-nine. Notice how these composite function values are different, and that's why it's very important to pay attention to the order of the composition. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.